Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be creating a tag system. Now this is going to be split up across multiple parts and essentially a tag system will let you create many commands within your discord bot and customize them to say whatever you want. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Alright, so here I am in my Visual Studio code. And what we're going to do is first, first we're going to start off in the onready command. And what that's going to do is we're going to create a variable called bot.db equals and that's going to be equal to await bot.db dot connect and essentially what it's going to connect to is sorry this isn't bot.db but this is aio so this is going to be the database that we're using and so we're going to connect to our database so here i'm going to call it tags.db now if you're already using existing databases then only use one and just create multiple tables for it but i'm just going to be creating a new one for the video and then we can do async with bot.db and cursor okay so once you have something like this we can actually create the table and so the way it works is when you create the table it's cursor.execute and I actually have a video if you don't know how to use uh, AI skill light uh, I suggest you check that out but if you do then you'll probably know how this works already. Create table if not exists. And it's gonna be called tags. Now we can open it up by having a name. And so this name is gonna be in the text format. There's also gonna be content, which is gonna be also a text and basically the content of the tag and then the guild integer and then another creator integer simple as that and so these are all gonna mean different things and so this is gonna be guild specific and you can see whoever made it also now what we're gonna do in a completely separate thing is we're gonna create a command that actually creates us a tag now the way it's gonna create us a tag is essentially just do bot.command and then for the name of it it's gonna be called create tag and then we can even add a description to it, it says creates a new tag and then we can do something like async def create tag and we'll call this add an underscore and inside here all we're going to need is ctx and it's going to be commands.context and then as well as a name which is going to be a string and we can also do content, which is also a string. And I forgot, but we also need the little asterisk here. Okay. So what this is gonna let us do is this just gonna create the basis of our command. Okay, so next up, what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna copy this little line of code here. And we're just gonna be actually initializing our database now that we have it. We can do await cursor.execute and just remove all of this because we don't really need it and then we can do select content from tags where guild is equal to question mark and name is equal to question mark and then we can do ctx.guild.id and name. so what this will do is it will search our entire database if a tag already exists with the name i guess with the same name and if it's in the same guild and if it's not right we can do if data is none and sorry i forgot to mention a data variable but our data is just going to be oa cursor dot fetch one because there should only be one. So if data is none, that means if that doesn't exist, then what we can do is we can actually create. So you know, we cursor dot insert into tags, right? So insert into tags, and then we're going to be inserting a couple things. So name, content, guild, right? Of course, but then we're also going to insert the creator, and it's going to have values, and then this is going to be set up into just a bunch of question marks something like this and then we can actually put in the arguments that are supposed to go or are associated with each single question mark and this is also pretty easy because 
they're listed right here. But first one is name. Then we're gonna have the content, right? All of which are in the or I guess arguments in the command. And then the other ones are gonna be ctx.guild.id and then they're also going to be ctx.author.id and so these will let us actually define uh, the guild and the author of the of the tag and so now what we can do is we can just send a message something like await ctx.send tag has been created and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create say if if data does exist right so we can do is if the data then we can say something like uh, um the tag already exists I suppose so CTS send that tag already exists simple as that and then all at the end here right we can undo that and we can do await db dot commit and this should be bot.db and this is literally it so we're gonna hop into discord and we're actually gonna test this out okay so here i am in my discord uh, say hi to all the nitro donators and everybody but basically what we're gonna do is we can actually see that the drone bot is online and it should not have the member though but basically what we can do is we can just run create tag and so let's say let's say we want the name to be i don't know subscribe and then after this what we can do is attack content so I want the contents to be subscribe to glow stick it says tag has been created now obviously we can't see anything but I'll actually see show you a screenshot up on screen of that tag or inside the database what it looks like and so you should have a similar thing right in there so if it has this but now we're gonna try creating the same thing again right subscribe to glow stick right and we'll see if it actually detects that that same tag exists and it does and so that's pretty much it i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to like subscribe and uh till part two comes out which is probably gonna be in a couple of days